Hello, this is Angela with Parkrose Permaculture, and today I'm going to be showing you our brand new Honesty Farm Stand. So we have a quarter acre permaculture garden here in zone 8B in Portland, Oregon. We have all kinds of fruit trees and shrubs and um, perennial and annual food crops. For years I've done sales of plant starts once or twice a year and I've taught workshops on anything from beekeeping to urban poultry to uh, urban orcharding and intro to permaculture. So my eldest daughter is really wanting to save up into a poultry project for next year. She wants to raise two turkeys and increase our flock. So we thought we would make a little free organic produce stand to put out by the street, just an honesty stand that folks could visit as they would uh, without us needing to man it. And the proceeds from that farm stand are gonna go toward her po poultry project. So I thought today I'll show you through our new farm stand, how we built it for almost nothing, and the plan for how we're gonna utilize it. So I've always been really intrigued by the concept of an honesty farm stand, which is an unmanned, unpersoned farm stand that uh, folks can come and shop from for eggs or honey or produce or cut flowers, what have you. And then there's usually a box to leave uh, money in. When we are on road trips and uh, we pass by one, I can't help but pull in and check out and see what are small family farms selling. Now, obviously, Honesty Farm Stands make a really varied amount of money from nothing to quite a substantial income, depending on where they're located and what's stocked in them. My hope here is just that our teenager will uh, gain enough income in order to be able to fund this poultry project she wants to do in 2022. We are all about reusing resources, uh, making sure that we fit our really tight penny-pinching budget, and also that we don't... Um, contribute to the harvesting of new resources when there are ones that already exist in the resource stream that we can just reuse. So we made the decision to make this entirely out of pallets and a reclaimed wood. So we used leftover house paint from painting our house this May and also just acrylic paint that my kids had on hand. If you're looking to paint something outdoors, Regular acrylic art paint is actually really weather resistant and uh, it's really, you know, cheap. It's often, you know, 25 cents for a mostly full bottle of it at the thrift store. So let me show you through the stand what it looks like and sort of what our hopes are. So our goal here was to use free resources as much as possible. Now we did end up having to use a couple of two by fours that we already had on hand. They're not the best quality and we thought that they would be great for repurposing for this project. The rest of the wood, except for these couple of two by fours up here at the front is entirely pallets. You can see the struts of the pallets here. Just use them as is down below. And then all of this is just pallet wood. In fact, we even just used whatever screws we had on hand so the screws don't all match at all. Now I haven't finished the roof yet. Our neighbor gave us this leftover tar paper that he had. I have a big stack of cedar shingles that my friend gave me that years ago that I've had and I use some of them for our bike shed in the backyard but I have enough that I'll be able to finish this here soon. It's just been rainy and I've been really busy so I haven't gotten around to it. So the roof is going to be finished with uh, repurposed shingles. Underneath it is just um, plywood, chipboard actually, that came off of a pallet that we got free. So here you can see all the pallet wood. Again the struts from the pallets are up here and here. Pallet wood's obviously really rough, so when you go to paint it, don't use a good paintbrush. Use one that you don't care if the bristles get destroyed. So my eldest kid did the painting here, the decoration. She's quite the artist. 
I really love Tompkins, and so she uh, put a little one on here for me. So the whole concept of an honesty farm stand is that people help themselves and they pay whatever the suggested price is. Ours actually goes a little farther than that. So again, all pallet wood opens up all the way here. And inside we have, you know, various things for sale. I, my goal is to put produce or honey or things like that in the top and down below to put plant stars. Right now I have yarrow and I have black eyed Susans because I've been dividing those. So normally folks would uh, take what they need and then there's a cash box in the corner. This is really thoroughly bolted in here. This was the only real expense. This is about $35. So that's really the only kind of cost I have to recoup for this project before my daughter can start basically having pure profit. So our cash box is emptied on a daily basis, so there's no risk of theft. We also made sure that this is all enclosed. There's no way anyone could reach in and try and pry off the cash box. And it is bolted in several places to this two by four here. So it's really, really secure. Folks can also pay via PayPal if they wanna use their phone or Venmo. Those are some other options. So I kind of just keep a list of what's available today. Lots and lots of quince. This is just a tiny fraction of the quince that I have. All organically grown. I don't use any sprays of any kind. Everything is grown using permaculture principles. A little bit of tree collards to see if there's interest. I have gobs of tree collards and they are one of my favorite vegetables. Super mild, really full of vitamin K and iron and so good for you. Buttercup squash, obviously my very favorite squash. I'm kind of loath to sell any of it because our family could use all of it, but maybe someone would like to try them. So the thing that makes our Honesty Farm stand a little bit different is that it is pay what you can. And if folks need food for free, they are welcome to come take it. Earlier today, I had someone come and take the flowers that I had cut and some quince for free while I was out working in the front yard. And that's totally, totally fine by me. If that's what folks need, if you need it and you can't afford to pay for it, then totally take what you need. I will just add that um, I want to definitely contribute to the permaculture ethic of share the surplus of that fair share ethic. And if our family has more than we need and you do not have enough, you are welcome to come and help yourself. So one concern I have seen on other posts or videos about honesty farm stands is the issue of theft out of the stand. Right, so for me, because ours is pay what you can, and uh, if folks really need things out of the stand and they take it without paying, that's a gift, that's not theft. That is us sharing the surplus. That doesn't concern me. The other issue is theft of cash, and the cash box, as I said, is really securely bolted in, so that isn't really an issue, and I'm going to be emptying it every evening. My plan at present is not to actually lock the uh, farm stand itself overnight, but we'll see how that goes. I don't want to be cynical, but I want to have maybe not a naive view of the potential here. I want to have hope and trust and faith in my community, but I also just want to be aware that we've spent a lot of time getting this stand up and going and that the resources from it are going to go toward our kids project at present. And so I don't want to um, not be respectful of our family's time and energy that we've put into it. So I am making sure that the cash box is bolted in and I'm making sure that I'm emptying it every day. But again, if someone comes and takes a whole box of quince and like they really needed it, then, uh, you know, they're welcome to have it. I hope it blesses them. If they took it and you know, throw it around the street or, um, you know, just waste it or resell it or what have you. Well, I can't really worry about that. I can't really control other people's behavior. I can only control the posture of my own heart and my own choices. So, um, it will be what it is, but I'm really excited about this project and, um, I hope it's going to be a positive experience for us and for the neighborhood. Well, thank you for watching today. I hope that you check out the Parco's Honesty Farm Stand Facebook page so that if you are in the area and you are interested in stopping by, you can see ahead of time if we're open and what's available. 
If you are interested in supporting this channel, I have a Patreon down in the description and I will be back later this week with more of the autumn harvest from our permaculture property here in Portland, Oregon.